wherever the wind's going to carry me, as long as I'm in the marketplace, that's what was happening to me. And I had fortunes going in and out of my account all the time. But no idea where to pull the plug. Whereas if I just simply would have said, you know what? I want to make $1,000 a month and save that, right? Okay, what happens if I just get that for the day and just stop on 20 contracts? Yeah, $20,000 a day. It's hard to stop, though, because if you can see the potential to make 50, you're going to do what? You're going to hold for 50. And as a young man with no idea what the hell he was doing, just rolling the dice, that's what I was doing. And it was worse when I started inviting people to see me doing it. And I would get a high off of being right in front of everybody. And I'd be like, yeah, look at that. See, you and the hell I am. I'm, I'm, I'm the guy that's going to do this in front of you every single day. Ha ha, look at this. Strength. <laughs> and then when it was bad, I wanted to crawl under a rock. It was too much. I, my ego couldn't allow for that. Because I didn't build in those, and those expectations in performance. So you won't have all those problems if you use low-hanging approaches to make your, make your ends meet. So you start gradually from a very small, low-hanging fruit objective. And make it so insignificant in terms of money that it won't be hard for you. And you gradually build that up. This is why I tell everybody, you're, you're not going to get good at trading your first year. You're not going to get good at trading in your first two years. It's going to take you five to ten years to get really good at trading.